Hey, buddy. It's Jake here, up in level two. It looks like you've been reassigned to the basement shift. I guess someone in management must have taken a serious disliking to you. Unfortunately, the basement was never designed to hold patients. But with so many crazies coming in, we need to make the most of the space we have. The power supply down there is limited. So the first thing you need to do is crank up the generator. It powers the security monitors and asylum doors. Just remember, the more doors you close, the faster you'll drain the power. So you'll need to keep cranking it up throughout the night. When you have power, you can use the map console to open and close the doors around the asylum. If a patient does escape from their cell, a warning light on the map console will also let you know. It's a good idea to activate the patient tracker device if this happens. But the tracker device batteries won't last all night. Once it runs out, you'll have to watch the cameras to keep an eye on what the patients are up to. Luckily, you've got an easy start of the week. There's only one patient down there tonight. The Ripper. If his name sounds a little alarming to you, then good. It should do. Whatever happens, do not let this guy into your security room. To help you out, there's a new recruit working with you. Benji the guard doc. If the Ripper makes it into the hallway outside your room, Benji will let you know. Just be warned though, Benji can be a little temperamental. He doesn't like enclosed spaces, so don't go leaving the room door shut for too long. Trust me, you won't like Benji when he's angry. Okay, buddy. You're all set for your first night. Have fun down there.